It's Sybil Wilkes with what you need to know. Today is Wednesday, December 3rd, 2020. Number one, is this another nail in the Trump re-election coffin? Donald Trump's lawyer, also known as Attorney General William Barr, announced Tuesday there is no evidence of widespread election fraud that would change the outcome of November's election. Meanwhile, another Trump insider, Sean Hannity, is suggesting that Donald Trump pardon himself. That begs the question, if he can hand out federal pardons, even to himself, what about that which awaits him in his home state of New York? Number two, as the year comes to a close and many Americans face financial struggles due to the ongoing pandemic, lawmakers on Capitol Hill are working to pass a temporary patch to provide some relief before the new year. Earlier this week, a bipartisan group of lawmakers introduced a $908 billion proposal that includes money to restore $300 weekly expanded unemployment benefits, as well as money for small businesses. No direct cash payments are included in this latest proposal. Number three, according to a new study, Black, Hispanic, American American Indian and students in schools that serve mostly low-income families are falling behind in math during the pandemic. Fall assessments also found that in some instances, students who are typically one and a half grades behind are now actually two grades behind. On the other hand, most children are progressing at normal levels in reading. Number four, a new analysis finds that police in Louisville, Kentucky, disproportionately targeted black residents for no-knock search warrants like the one that led officers to Breonna Taylor's death. In the past two years, Louisville Metro Police Department officers received court approval for at least 27 no-knock warrants. 82% of the listed suspects were black and 68% were for addresses in predominantly black neighborhoods. Number five, farm to table is getting a bit of culture with a new generation of young black farmers getting into the business. There were only 45,500 black farmers, roughly 1.3% of all U.S. farmers in 2017. Well, the number is rising while springing up a new crop of black farmers who are interested in Soul Fire Farms virtual farming lessons to make sure underserved communities are not left behind in that food line. Join me today live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central with Myra J. and Stephen Hill as we discuss today's top headlines and more. That's what you need to know. For more information, please go to SybilWilkes.com. Sign up for my free newsletter. Be informed, be empowered.